Dear friends, how many of you have heard this word rubber bands being used by a dentist to close the teeth gap? And you definitely have been watching a number of videos on the social media platforms where rubber bands are used to close the teeth gap. Yes, so if you have seen this videos then definitely today you must watch this videos because I am going to tell you what are this rubber bands used by the professional orthodontist and what is the difference between the rubber bands at your home. So come, let us have a look at today's video. Subscribe to my channel Dr. Mansi Shaha to get tips and tricks on dental health and dental issues. Hello and a very happy morning to all of you and here you are on my show Monday Mornings with Mansi and my YouTube channel Dr. Mansi Shaha. So friends, Today we are going to speak about elastics. These elastics are the rubber bands which are being frequently used in the field of orthodontic and are used by professional orthodontists to close the gap and to treat different types of malocclusions. Malocclusion means nothing but when the teeth are not in the correct occlusion or they are not into that desired position and that's when you treat the malocclusion the treating professional is known as an orthodontist. So, these elastics which are used by the professionals and the rubber bands which are easily available at the stationery store near you. What is the difference? And why you should not use the rubber bands which are easily available at the store outside or near you? Because these elastics or the rubber bands which are used by the professionals have a specific thickness width and they are designed to apply certain amount of pressure and force on your teeth and the orthodontist has a perfect knowledge of when which band is to be applied and what is exactly going to cause the movement so it is better that you do not rely on the uh, elastics or rubber bands which are available at the store now speaking about the today's topic of elastics uh, there will be many questions on why and how do the do this elastics work so basically first thing is uh, do elastics cause harm to your teeth or do they dissolve your jawbone or do they uh, are they not really good to be applied so let me tell you that elastics are not given to all the patients they are given only to certain people when the dentist notices or the orthodontist notices certain discrepancy or malocclusion which needs to be treated by the elastics so these elastics are used to align your teeth and correct your bite to that is to treat the malocclusion as I said. They are given specifically to you by your orthodontist in a specific condition. So basically what are the types of elastics? There are three types which are uh, available. Class 1 elastics are used to close the gap between your upper front teeth that is it runs from behind the molar to canine and this is how they pull the teeth back and they close the gap the second is um, class 2 elastics which are running intermaxillary which runs from molar of lower jaw to canine of the upper jaw and these types of elastics are used to treat the overjet so the overjet is reduced by this method and the third is to correct the underbite so class 3 elastics are used to correct the underbite so these were the types of elastics. Now what is the time required for wearing this elastics? It is varies from 12 hours to 23 hours per day and it depends on uh, the patient's requirement and how the orthodontist has suggested you to wear them. So the next question that comes up is do these elastics hurt or are they painful? So my answer would be that no they are not really that painful for first few days you might feel a small amount of pressure or force which is being applied on your tooth or when you change your elastics then also you will feel this pressure and force on your teeth so don't worry about it it will subside automatically you don't many times require any medications but at times your dentist would suggest you a small painkiller if it, it is at all required. Well, warm water plus solderins would help out so you can try on that first and then opt for painkillers. Make sure that you learn properly how to remove and how to put out these elastics because when you are going to have your food 
that is your lunch dinner or etc any food then you need to remove this elastics and then chew on it because this elastics are tightening uh, your teeth and you cannot chew or have that opening uh, of mouth movement when you are having or wearing this elastics also speech for certain days might become a little bit difficult but that's okay you will get used to it slowly slowly uh the mouth opening is restricted chewing and speech difficulties do arise now make sure that once you remove and have your food or uh, do your activities like brushing and flossing so after once that is done you put your elastics back again and make sure that you wear your elastics as and when recommended by your orthodontist you have to remember that this elastics are tiny bands which are hooked up on your uh braces and they don't really do any harm to you and uh, instead they are used to treat your uh mal occlusion and align your bite and teeth into proper position so make sure that you opt for a uh, proper treatment and don't get scared for it or don't say no for elastics because it is going to do a good thing for you so many people uh, also many people have this misconception that this elastics are going to, to harm my jaws and etc etc things so uh, let me tell you that this elastics only act on your teeth and they don't act on your soft tissues and jaw bones so they are not going to do any harm to your jaw bones or soft tissues it's just that you need to maintain uh, this elastics and braces of course we have seen many of my videos where i have been speaking about how to maintain and why to maintain your braces because post removal of braces you get n number of diseases or n number of problems you get n number of problems which only occur of uh, because of your poor maintenance so if you maintain it properly then you can easily go ahead with it the next thing that comes up is the do's and the don'ts when you are having elastics in your mouth or you are an elastic wearer so the first thing that you should do is remember that you should know how to properly remove and put up this elastics the second thing is make sure that wherever you are going you carry extra elastics always with you in your purse or in your pockets because this elastics can easily break down and you will not find this elastics at the places near you so your dentist will provide you with lot num uh, with a greater amount or greater quantity of elastics so make sure that you carry this elastics wherever you go the third thing is that you always wash your hands and then make sure that you wear your elastics so that you don't carry any germs or bacteria inside your mouth so looking at the don'ts we should remember that you do not stretch the elastics too much because if they get loosen up the force and the pressure which has to be applied on your tooth will just you know get uh, lessen up and this will uh, slow down your process or not give you the desired results the next don't is that you do not put up too many elastics like if your dentist has suggested you one you are putting up two three to fasten up the speed or increase the pressure then don't do that also because that is going to do harm more pressure is not recommended the pressure which is told or the elastic which is applying the pressure is calculated by your orthodontist and it is properly technically uh, right to give only that much amount of pressure so more pressure is going to do more harm. so don't do anything without asking your orthodontist the next don't is that you should not chew your food or speak uh, when having your elastics or wearing them because that might just break it would snap the elastics inside and your soft shoes might get some injury so make sure that you are not doing this so friends if you uh, so this was a quick and short video on elastics if you have any doubt related to it make sure you are asking me it in the comment section below i and my team are always happy to help you do not forget to like comment and share please feel free to subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon wishing you all a very happy and a healthy smile stay healthy stay happy and stay refreshed Thank you